So I think short-term goals is to improve your performances indoors. Um, and I work in what's called a double periodization approach where there's two peaks. One is oftentimes the indoor, and then we look for the outdoor peak, which um, is identified as the European Championships this year in Munich in August. And so we're, we're looking toward we're looking toward that. First of all, let's run some personal bests indoors, and then let's really go back to the training, and then open up again in May, middle of May, and uh, with with their special events, 400 hurdles, and then look to run. Shara has, I think, the outside possibility to run a standard for the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon this year. And um, whether or not we decide to go is another story because of the importance of the European Championship, but there's four weeks in between. Leela, I think, could qualify in three events for the World Junior Championships, which is in Calais, Colombia. And uh, this would be a tremendous, tremendous experience for her to travel to South America and compete against the best in the world at her age group before next year she jumps into the senior age group. Yes, 2023 in Budapest, obviously, it's your home country. And um, you always get super excited if you make that qualification standard. Um, because when you walk into the stadium and they call your name, the pigeons fly and the place goes crazy. But um, yeah, this is a, a goal. Interestingly, the qualification period for the Budapest 2023 World Championships starts in early August, which is just before the July Memorial in Czechoslovakia. I tried to speak that as well as I could, but. Uh, uh, this is when we're actually starting to look at running the qualification standard and getting in the bigger meets so that they can achieve world rankings.